are fancy forks really that much better or is the tried and true style of suspension fork really the best? Let me introduce you to my pseudo friends. Hi guys, I'm Fancy. This is the EXT era, the pinnacle of mountain biking technology. Hi guys, I'm Normal Fork, Fox 38, tried and true, probably the best fork on the market for everything. Both forks are 170 millimeter. The EXT fork has 36 millimeter stanchion, so it will be an interesting comparison. My first thoughts were the EXT and those smaller stanchions were going to be king when climbing. Boy, times have changed. When you're riding a long travel 29er clipped in, boosting in turbo, the plush daddy bigger framed Fox 38 felt better. Now after watching the footage, the EXT fork is substantially faster over that chunky route I was climbing. There was no need to make a 38 millimeter stanchion fork because we have technology to make this 36 millimeter stanchion superior to them Fox 38s and RockShox Zebs. The additional stiffness of our fork comes from the crown. You can guarantee no creaks out of this and long lasting performance. The chunkier the terrain, the better this fork's gonna feel. All out plowing through rocks, this fork is absolutely amazing and plush. Marketing aside, the EXT fork is just as stiff as a 38 millimeter stanchion fork and it's faster, but watch how much more bumpy it is for that extra speed and stiffness. Now, you can lower the pressure down on the EXT and make it ride like Fox, but it rides better on the air pressure or the air spring. Oh yeah, this is what the 38 loves the chunk. X2 is just killing it. This is where the Fox really showed its stars. When plowing downhill lines, 1,000 feet downhill or 300 meters, arm pump and body fatigue can really start to take its toll. EXT suspension has less arm pump than the Fox 38 after 1,000 feet or 300 meters of descending. Now the Fox 38, it rides like a dual crown fork. It soaks up the terrain and it's quite a bit slower. It's also a security blanket for an average rider like myself. The EXT fork is a advanced rider fork and those 36 millimeter stanchions aren't as forgiving even though they are just as stiff. Now the Fox 38 is slower moving and more predictable than the EXT fork on this section of trail. But really in order to get the most out of the Fox 38, you really gotta be pushing it hard on blue flow trails. If you don't have the terrain to match this fork, it's not a problem because we make the Fox 36. That's an excellent all mountain fork. Blue flow trails and jumping was not overlooked on this fork. It's an excellent jumper and you can adjust the ramp up chambers to make it more progressive for big days at the bike park. Now this could be chalked up to rider inexperience, but in the corners, the EXT fork felt like it was not doing something right. I'm not sure if it's oversteer or understeer or rider inexperience, you let me know. Everything I just told you about this fork is completely irrelevant unless you watch this video here. 
because if you don't have the right shock, you're not gonna get the best performance out of your fork.